Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another One Piece. I'm not going to say theory video, but a One Piece video. Look, y'all know the vibes. Like I said, minimum four videos a week. You, if you, By now, you've seen our Bleach uh, Core 1 review. If you haven't seen it yet, check that out. Check out the Anime Talk Awards, a bunch of stuff. But today, Jazz and I are here to discuss. Oda said that it's based. One Piece is about to become a battle royale. And what we wanted to discuss is some fights that we want to see in the future. So we're going to name like, I don't know, maybe five a piece and discuss great fights that we think should happen in one piece. Jazz, how you doing today? I'm, I'm excited for this video. And man, we thought I'm, of this randomly. Like we was like, ooh, let's just do this. Man, I'm excited too. It's about, look, to be honest, one piece is about to turn into a nigga. <laughs> yeah. Like <laughs> this is about to be crazy. But see, okay. I think it's, I think the nigga moment already happened. I think the fact when Luffy beat Kaido, that was the start of the nigga moment. The catalyst. Yeah, the, exactly. The, the, the patient zero. <laughs> Facts. Okay, so where do we want to start? So let I guess let's start with, do we think Garp versus Blackbeard's actually going to happen? Yes. Okay. But I feel like, see, the thing is, I feel like Blackbeard going to be coming back. Garp mm. gonna be fucking up full of lead, right? Mm -hmm. So like, I hope Blackbeard fights a hundred percent Garp. That's what mm. I want to happen, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen because okay. like his commander, <laughs> like not his commanders, his his captains should be on the should some of them should be on the island because he didn't so, take all of them. With he Locke, didn't take like, all of them. Like with, no, he did not. Shiryu was not there. Katarina Davon was not there. Azaro Pizarro, uh, 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 Azaro Pizarro wasn't there san juan wolf wasn't there so like are they at full head and and but also did he have time to bring kobe back before he fought law that's another question i have as well that's true because it also begs the question like was putting was putting on the way to full that island or like was she on the same ship when blackbeard attacked law yeah and, and or, like, or, or or was it that okay boom they dropped Kobe off and then got pudding. I don't know. It's a weird timeline. It's a weird like, ass timeline. Wait, let me like I'm <laughs> gonna pull up the uh I'm gonna try to pull up the chapter right now. If if I rem if I can remember which chapter it was, it wasn't that far that long ago. It might have been like, like 1058. 1060, 1064? 1064? Yeah, you might be right. It it, it it is like 1060 something. Okay, so in 1060. Let's see. So let's see. Hold on. So in 1060. Oh, there's no cover page. Okay. Weird. <laughs> let's do 1059. Okay. So in 1059, we, we, okay. So in 1059, we learned that Kobe's been kidnapped for the Rocky uh, Port incident. So we right. learned that in 1059, Blackbeard defeats, uh, Boa and all of that. And like, that's where she captures him. In so it's, like a it's a couple chapters after that because it's the I think it's yeah. the cover story where like Aokiji and Augur are on the uh, top on the top and then the chapter happens with uh with Blackbeard. Yep, mm -hmm. you are right. So if ten fifty nine is all right, I got. I think I got it. So ten fifty nine is when we find out Kobe is taken. Mm -hmm. Ten sixty four is when we see him start to fight Law. Now, do we yes. think in that time span that he brought them back? That he brought uh Boa back. I mean, but not Boa brought Kobe to wherever to his island, or that he let someone take Kobe to his island. I think he let somebody take Kobe to the island because think about it, we don't see Vasco shot when they fight in law. No, so we maybe don't. Vasco, maybe Vasco took him back because Vasco was Vasco and Katarina were on his excursion to Amazon on Lily, yeah, but then I, Amazon actually, Lily right. like happened. Amazon okay, so, really happened like before all this though, right? So it's, it's like, supposed they, to. It, it's supposed yeah. to have. Like I'm looking at it right now in Amazon Lily. So when we see that, uh, it says, "Okay, boom." So it says, "Keep your wits about it." Marco's flying away, and then it goes to Amazon Lily on the calm belt, and he. Uh, so yeah, that's weeks earlier. Boom, you're right here. Weeks earlier. Yeah, yeah. We, so, yeah, yeah. so yeah. So Kobe could be by like. So it does make sense for Kobe to be at whatever island they are. To your point, because he only has Katarina and Vasco shot with him, no one else. So they take Kobe, bring him away, 
and then the people that are with him go hunting for something else. I, I guess go hunt for pudding. That's why he takes it. It would make sense if, OK, they drop him off and boom, 1064 happens. We're going hunt for pudding. I'm bringing with me the, my best, my A game, Augur, uh, Alkiji, uh, fucking a doctor just in case we need to help us in, in stronger and Doc Q. And that should be enough to take down whatever's left for, of Big Mom's crew. Mm -hmm. And boom, we run into law. So, OK, to that point, if he's coming back, I don't think he's going to be coming back 100 percent. Blackbeard. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, th I don't mean, think not. he comes back like, 100%. I think, I, think Law, I think Law got some damage on him, of course. And like, I, what would be nice is if he came back to an island destroyed, and it would also make sense if Alkiji's not with him, because if Alkiji's there, it messes up the situation. Right, because then so, Alkiji could be like, hmm, this is the perfect time to strike. He's so actually, like, <laughs> I'm going to vote that we don't see Garp fight... Uh, we don't see Garp fight um, Blackbeard. Blackbeard. I think Garp just goes in and gets Kobe. I kind of want. I and they might fight it, Shiryu. Though. Like we might get like yeah. Bogart fighting Shiryu while Garp's walking through. Hey man, Bogart a problem. People better watch out. <laughs> Shout out to that you. nigga on TikTok who always promoting Bogart. <laughs> Facts. But I, I kind of want it because, like, Garp is probably one of the only people left from the God Valley incident, and not only just like <laughs> narrative purpose. I want to see Garp. Put the put the beats on Blackbeard because like you, you think about it, Garp is basically the cat like responsible for Ace dying. Like it's yeah. not the direct like he's not the direct reason why Ace died. But Blackbeard but... is like the main re like he he's the no. one who captured him. He's the one who killed Thatch. But and to your point, I think we can still learn about God Valley without him fighting Blackbeard. Just him getting to the island and like and like being like I hmm. have so many memories of this. Yeah, boom, we there. So. You're voting yes, it happens. I'm voting no, it doesn't because we talked it out. Another one that let's talk out that's going on right now. Kids in Elbath. Do we see Kid versus Shanks part two? I hope. I hope. Okay. And what I really hope from this, I really hope mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Kid mm -hmm. learns something from Wano. I hope that I like, you know, I hope he does his metal thing because I, I like, you know, I like kids contraptions. Mm -hmm. it, he mm -hmm. reminds me of Generator Rex a lot. Yeah. Um. He, that's I, a good call. He, he's God, more I Generator he Rex. Copy. He's more Generator Rex than he is Magneto. That's a good fucking call. That's facts. The, well, actually, kid, uh, small little kid tangent. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of the kid fans. But like, I'm a kid I don't, fan. Though. Like, I'm, I don't like, like the kid like, fans, but I'm a kid I, fan. <laughs> I, like, I like kid. I think the pro mm -hmm. I think the problem is with a lot of people is like you know they see a magnetic ability and then they're like oh he should he should be Magneto he should be able to do all this you gotta think about it kid's brain is wired completely different, different yeah than Magneto so he's not about and to their like, powers you know, are a little like different. they're different yeah like, like so kid kind of controls magnetic fields whereas magneto controls metal like right. <laughs> like he's the master of metal and ma magnetism like he can do both whereas i don't know if kid can control metal like that i feel like it's more so he controls magnetic fields right and, and i like, could be wrong let us know in the comments if i am yeah and it's like I feel I feel like he does great for what he does. Like, I mean, really, I didn't really think about the generator Rex thing until mm -hmm. like his fight with Big Mom. And I was like, oh, this is shit that generator Dere Rex, Rex do. does. Yeah, no, for sure. And if, um, if he doesn't fight Shanks, then I think he's gonna fight Loki because I'm, I'm thinking yeah. about it. I think that's a good way to introduce Loki. And then when the Straw Hats come, if he fights Loki, there could be beef to where the Straw, you know, Straw Hats always helping whoever island it is. And boom, now we get Kid versus Law to help the island, get them to leave. Obviously not going to kill kid. This will be one of their big fights. Right. <laughs> also, another thing that could be interesting to happen. So we know that like Elbaf is a land of like warriors. So really, mm -hmm. we if we don't get kid versus Shanks, I know we're going to get kid running some kind of gauntlet because yeah. when, he com when he comes there, He's probably gonna take the credit for taking down Big Mom. Big Mom, oh, definitely, like definitely, and they may like he, they may want to make him his king. Therefore, boom, beef with him and Loki. Wow. Yeah. So it'd be interesting. I just need look. I just need Kid to show some hockey. Not a lot. No. Yeah. Not he, a I'm lot. with you. And see, to that point, like, you know, I don't even now that we're talking this out. I don't think he fights Shanks because I don't think Shanks is there. But right. I think he fights Luffy when they go to Elbaf. So Luffy versus Shanks. That's one I want to see. That's a first. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's that's one that I think needs to happen. I feel like I feel like it'd be more rewarding seeing 
Kid versus Luffy because and it could even be a Davy back where it's like it doesn't have to be a yeah. real fight. Like it could be a Davy back to where it it's like a, okay, hey, it could be a Davy back for Saul. It could boom, perfect, and that'll work. And you could have it to where it's just Zoro and Luffy, Kid and Killer. Because like you throw Sanji in there, there's no one like Heat and Wire. Like Sanji could beat them both. Throw, <laughs> like yeah, you can't throw you can't throw all Luffy's commanders in there because no. oh my god, he and Wire are gonna get washed. <laughs> yeah, but I'm Jinbei sorry. and Sanji, like what? <laughs> like Shit, like look, Robin could probably be Heat and Wire. <laughs> look, look, Kid and Killer are problems. I I definitely I definitely agree. But the other or maybe the other ones aren't as fleshed out. They might be problems. We just don't know. N- name problems. <laughs> I'm starting to think more of Lost Crew is better than them niggas. But to your point. We never, we didn't know Lost Crew could do what they could do until right. we saw him. So maybe Heat and Wire are ballers. We, we, you know, we got to see. I need to stop judging people off what they did in Oni <laughs> if, we, if we keeping it a band, not many people was balling in Oni Gashima. Exactly, they, but you know for Sachi and Penguin to come out and do what they did against Blackbeard, looking hey, ballers. It might, it might be an environmental thing, man. It, do we think it, they're alive? Like, it could, do, are we gonna? Are, do you have any law battles, or do you think it's over for them? <laughs> are they kidnapped? <laughs> I feel like Law fights a couple more people. Like, okay. I feel like, like, look, I know people are saying, like, Law death flags and whatever, and, like, they want Blackbeard to use Law's devil fruit. I'm like, look, Law is a little, like, he was obviously very important to the Yonko saga, mm-hmm. but, like, it's obvious that, like, the, 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 like, the fans are keeping gonna, him alive. <laughs> yeah, and Kid is going to be like the new it's his Law. Time. Yeah. Basically. But like, I still don't think Law dies from this. Mm-hmm. No. I Me mean, neither. I think this could be a way to get him out, like have him injured, have him captured to where when yeah. the final battle happens with Luffy and Blackbeard, he, he saves Law or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be Give cool, me a like. fight you want to see. Not that I, I, didn't, I didn't got a couple out there. So look, a fight I need to see. I need to see Mihawk versus Fujitora. Because Ooh. with the with the cross guild stuff, mm. what what I'm thinking at first, because I'm like, okay, there's one obvious person missing from Cross Guild, and it's mm-hmm. Doflamingo, right? Yep. So we know that like Kizaru wants all the warships to go to Egghead, but maybe Fujitora like gets caught by Mihawk and them because of the cross guild stuff. Ah, and, I like that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it would be, I feel like this would be like the best way to show like, me Hulk's we've, power yeah right because we've seen we've seen shanks we got basically to see shanks, like yeah. like ho ho and admiral let's see me Admiral. <laughs> right if you want to keep up that like mihawk portrayal look i love portrayal and stuff but i need to see him do something and Especially not even he doesn't even have like, to kill he doesn't even have to kill Fujitora. Mm-mm. Just let him in, in, incapacitate him to where they can still do flamingo like to your point I could see it they pull up Fujitora standing there and Crocodile's like, uh, you have, and Mihawk's like, I got this. Takes the sword out, and they go past him, get Do Flamingo. We could even see a Crocodile versus Magellan battle in, Ooh, in, in there. I like that. Get Do Flamingo, get out. And by, when they get out, it's fucking Mihawk ha- is just chilling, waiting. Fujitora's ass is just beat up. Dog, it'd be, it'd be great. Now, I don't mean to like downplay the admirals or anything, but it, you know, as the, as the world government is like, Toppling, obviously they the gotta fall. Gonna topple, topple yeah, they gotta them, fall. Obviously. And like, if you're gonna have them fall, Mihawk is a great character to have them fall too. Have one of them fall too. Mm, that's true. And also, like, there's a lot. There's like, there's so many matchups. I feel like Shanks versus anybody is up for grabs now. Shanks, oh, I, got, Bar- I gotta, I gotta Bartolome Shanks. Might we'll, be even we'll, like- we'll get it. We'll go we'll get the Shanks. But <laughs> since you're on your Admiral tip, I got one for you. Straw Hats versus Kizaro Part Two. To escape Egghead. Oh, I need this. That. Is, I need this that. is this is this is basically the part of reflecting Saba Odi. We saw what Law's doing. We saw what Kids doing. Now Kizar, we we even got Sentomaru. Uh, Kizaru's coming to try to stop the Straw Hats. He thinks it's gonna be like Saba Odi. What he doesn't know is these niggas are about to get the fuck out of there. Like, <laughs> I think I think to your point too. Um, so we see Kaku attacking the ship in the recent chapter. Now look, he looks scared feel, as fuck. <laughs> like I feel like the Zoro versus Kaku match is going to be similar to like the Gear Five Luffy versus one Luchi hit, like, one hit a quitter like, out of there. Right, and so, but then I feel like that sets it up for Zoro to interact with Kizaru yes, because I when agree. you think about it, he was the first per- like Zoro was about to get killed by Kizaru. He was he the was. first person that Kizaru went after, mm-hmm. and, and it so makes I sense feel, that he's like, the first know, one. Again, and then boom, the Straw Hats come. Not saying that Zoro's getting defeated. The Straw Hats come and just force, push him back, handling Zoro's uh, 
business with him and they take they take down not destroy Kazaro, but they do enough to escape. And I think what's gonna distract them is as Vega Punk's leaving, hey, all you seraphim, attack Kizaru. What, what, what are they gonna do? What are the <laughs> seraphim gonna do day. against a Mihawk seraphim? He gonna kill them all, but like what the fuck are they gonna do? But it's gonna give him time to get away. Exactly. It's like gonna it's gonna give him, give him ample time. And also like in in the recent chapter, like obviously Rob Lucci's like I don't accept straw hat as an emperor, but like you got to think about it. Most people probably feel that way, and mm-hmm. I feel like this Kizaru definitely does. He feels like, like if yeah. he would have went to Wano, them niggas wouldn't have been an emperor. So he he mm-hmm. doubting that shit heavy. Probably going in there with like an ego. Probably going in there like <laughs> straw hat <laughs> emperor. <laughs> He's too young, like ready to just shit on him, and then boom, Luffy and them shit on him. So it's gonna be. It's going to be some shit, man. Give me another one. Let, let's go, because I'll, I'll go back and forth. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. If you need to think of one, let me know, because I can go. Mm, give me give me a second, give me a second. All right, yeah, go ahead, think of one. All right, so my next one that I, I, I need to see is we're going with, uh, we're going with Sabo versus world government and i say world government because it could give us the reverie flashback to see sabo mm. versus green bull in in fujitora or it could be something in the future where we see sabo versus a kindly but i need mm. to see sabo in action versus the world government of you some know, form or fashion you know it's crazy that she says and i mean we can go back and forth on this because it's kind of like the same thing mm-hmm. but you know what because this rivalry it seemed like <laughs> built up since marine ford i gotta see dragon versus a Ah, That's I wouldn't be one. look. I wouldn't be mad at that. Instead of Sabo having it be Dragon, I like narratively wise. Okay, let me ask you this: Does it happen in the sense of we see Dragon and a Kainu in a flashback, and then Sabo is fighting a Kainu, which triggers the flashback, or do we think for Dragon, Dragon has to fight someone? The only person strong enough is a Kainu. Because it could go either way. Because I don't see Dragon fighting Eam. That seems like that's a Luffy thing. Unless Luffy and his dad do it together. But if they're which not be, doing which it would together. Be fire. Like which that. would be fire. But if they're not doing it together, you make a good point. Yes, Sabo beating Dragon. I mean, yes, Sabo beating Akaino would be amazing. But Dragon needs a fight. Unless Akaino beats Dragon, thus triggering Sabo to fight him. I feel like either or it works. Or mm-hmm. you, could have, you could have it be like... So basically, like Sabo would want to fight a kind of, but then a kind of would be like, ah, get out of my way because he'd see yeah. Dragon first. Mm-hmm. So, like, maybe it's a thing to where like Dragon mm-hmm. fights a kind of, and then they're like, Dragon, you're needed elsewhere. And then uh, Sabo comes fight, in. Fight, you know yeah, that would be much better because you can't kill Dragon on his first fight. Like, that, that boy, talk about the community. Talk, yeah, talk about, a ki- talk about a kind of hype. <laughs> Talk yeah, <laughs> that'd be fucking crazy. Uh, I think one that we can both agree on is Shanks versus Blackbeard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. like that that has to happen. That to me is the one that is foreshadowed. That is inevitable. Shanks versus Blackbeard has to happen. And on top of that, Shanks versus Luffy or Shanks crew versus Straw Hats has to happen, too. Oh, yeah, that 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 definitely has to happen, even if. Even, Even if, if it's like, a Davy back fight or if it's something like they're yeah. just sparring, and it could be they fight before Shanks fights Blackbeard and Lu- he accepts Luffy and then he dies or some shit like that. Now, if it doesn't happen, that makes it, it might make it stronger to where Blackbeard kills Shanks. Some of Shanks' crew survives so Usopp can meet his dad, but Luffy gets revenge for Ben Beckman and all of them and kills right. Blackbeard. That'd be that'd be interesting. I mean, the Shanks. I'm not gonna say like Shanks' death flags are there, but like definitely that matchup has been like hinted at. Hinted and, at. And Shanks' character is portrayed like the the people he's inspired by all die at the hands of someone like Blackbeard. Whether it's Tear, whether it's like it always like yeah. all the Blackbeard inspiration kills all of the Shanks' inspiration. It's crazy. It's <laughs> like there's. There's so many, and like I was, I was saying this earlier. Like I feel like it's about to be like a tournament arc. But mm. I think what I think what makes it hit a little more is that like instead of being introduced to new players, we already we know them. Yep. So it's like now, now we now we just waiting. I just need to see stuff from like the main five. I need to see stuff from is Dragon, uh, Mihawk, Shanks, Blackbeard, especially, mm-hmm. 
and, and then and admirals yeah, as a whole. Admirals. <laughs> yeah, like because the admirals look, the admirals ain't about to go into any good matchups. Yeah, but I feel like they'll get a crazy showing because I feel like while the vice admirals they seem like they're more like more of their combat is based on like restrictiveness mm-hmm. the admirals just go for kills yeah facts like, and, you know? and and we're gonna see that another thing that i'm interested in is law does he reface do flamingo and if law is alive who is his fight with like who does law in all of this battle i i think fujitora would be interesting gravity versus room but I, I need Law, if he's going to be in the final battle, to have someone interesting. Do Flamingo getting out of Impel Down seems very, like, now I can beat you. Like, I don't need Straw Hat to beat you now. I can whoop you. I'll be Big Mom, nigga. I need, I need that. But at the same time, he could face the five elders, or Eam, even. Mm, Law? He, okay. If, yeah, because if, like, he learns the... Because, like, you know, his whole thing is, like, learning the, like, the reason the will for of his D. checkered fate. Yeah. So it's like... It could I, be him and Luffy, the D's versus Eam, essentially. I really, I really just need like a bunch of the D's to team up against. Yeah, him, really. like it like, could be Law, Dragon, Luffy. I'm trying to think of any other D's that can fight Monk, Monk Garp. Like you could throw all the D's who are alive in there, except true. Blackbeard, and they could fight Eam. That would be that's interesting. True. Um, I do want to see Pluton used in some fight, or Uranus. It, whether that if that's the the fucking the sky, <laughs> like yeah, whatever it is, I want to see one of them used in a fucking battle. Um, let's see anything else I'm trying to think of because we're doing this on the fly. You mentioned Dragon, of course. We talked Sabo. We said Shanks. We said Law. We said Kid. Kid needs a big fight. Um, I think Kaido might even come back. Oh, into the, fi- in, into the final war. <laughs> I okay, and if that happens, I wouldn't be mad if. See, okay, I'm glad you brought up Kaido. I think for me, a fight I want to see is Gold Roger. Kaido can be in it. I got to see the God Valley flashback fight. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That has God Valley has to be like one of the. And that's where I think Kaido and Big Mom, we can see them again, because I don't know if we'll see them in the future. I actually after seeing the anime and how they're portraying this, I think they're actually going to be dead because you don't like the anime is doing a good job of showing like. The Straw Hats, this is their battle to get to the next step. And, like, that conversation between Sanji and Zoro really na- hammered that home for me. So I think they're going to be dead. But we can see, get more of them in God Valley. Because God Valley itself could be an arc. Like, it could, you, you, honestly, it doesn't have to be a flashback. Oda can just make that an arc. I think it should be, I think it should be utilized, like, how, I think a perfect way because I think the Odin flashback is perfect. If it's utilized like the Odin flashback is utilized, How that was basically, basically an arc, yeah. Yeah, like basically telling the, not like telling the story of Rocks, but I guess like telling like why he or like what his motives were that day and everything. Mm-hmm. You gotta think because you gotta think about it. The the players like there were big players in there, but really it's three players in there is Roger, Rocks, and Garp. And Garp, yeah, and and you know would even say Whitebeard because. I think yeah, Whitebeard true. turned on them, but I, I needed to be either like the Odin flashback or like the Law in uh, Do Flamingo flashback, where it starts with learning who Rox is as a person, and then we flash forward to like it could honestly be how we saw Odin in the beginning with that pig, and then it flash forwards and we get all of the just God Valley. Like the first one could be okay, this is who Rox is. Boom, flash forward. Now we're in God Valley for like fifteen chapters. Yeah, God Valley needs to be some crazy shit. Like, but we, but we got to see Roger fight. Like, we have to. I feel like we've. I feel like every time we've seen him fight, it's just clashes. And like, I need to see and like, that's, a, and that's a, cool, a, like a real fight. Yeah, I, I need. Hey, look, I need to see why they were saying that he he was him. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, like I know, like we know he was him. And it's like, time to end the power scalers of saying that like Ryuma Mihawk, greatest swordsman, better than Roger. What? <laughs> I've heard that so much. That's why I need to see Roger fight, bro. Man, speaking of speaking of swordsmen, do we think Zoro Shiryu? He, well, yeah, Zoro series is a given, but do we think Zoro fights Tashigi again? Fuck no. <laughs> Not just no, fuck no. Because when <laughs> after he beats Mihawk, what's the per- purpose? Like, is he going to let her win? Like, she can, there's, once he beats Mihawk, there's nothing she can do 
to, to beat him unless she's about to be an admiral. If you're going to make our admiral cool, but I doubt it because to me, the admirals, the next group of admiral seems Kobe, Smoker, and x Yep. With the so, fleet admiral being Kuzan, probably. Exactly. So if it's not, uh, un unless you're about to make Smoker the fleet admiral and Tashigi, x Drake, and Kobe the, the admirals, then I don't see it. And if that's the admirals, my God, that's the weakest admirals we'd have ever had. <laughs> hey, look, look, it's going to be revealed that Tashigi eat the Kawina Wina fruit. <laughs> that's how she going to get a one up on Zoro. <laughs> Any Zoro Sanji fights you want to see? I got to see. So look, so look, I need to see Zoro, uh, not Zoro. I need to see Sanji get a hit off on a Yonko. I don't want to fight. Mm. I just want him to, cause like, you got to think about it. Sanji's mad fast. Mm -hmm. So even, it doesn't matter how fast the Yonko is. Like, even if he gets a hit off on Blackbeard, mm, like, like say starts they got, to, they, yeah. he blitzes then goes to someone else. Yeah, that'd be fire. Or I'd maybe, fuck with them. I just, you know what I'm saying? I'd like to see him fight an Admiral. They always set it up for Fujitora, Zoro, Kizaru, uh, Sanji. Or you could even do Green Bull Sanji. I think Green Bull and Sanji makes the most sense. Cause you know, I would he love it. Eat, like he hasn't eaten mm -hmm. in two years. And you know, he he kind of he's a womanizer, which yep. like is a is a set uh, off for is Sanji. Is against too. Sanji. Yep. That's why I think Sanji will fight Vasco Shot. I think mm -hmm. Oda put that thing in in Vasco Shot saying, let's rape these women on purpose. Yeah, I need, yeah, I just need I need him to get out of here. Yeah. I need so, Vasco Shot to get out of here. Sanji Vasco <laughs> Shot would be dope. Zoro Shiryu would be dope. I I would want Robin to fight Katarina Davon. I or 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 the uh, the guy with the wings, whoever is the yeah, whoever's stronger, and Nami can take the weaker one. Um, maybe Brooke Soul King versus King Azaro Pizarro. Frankie versus San Juan Wolf in the fucking tank tank matchup, or right. that could be and Jim Bay. I always thought so. So it's weird with 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 Jimbe with Jimbe and Frankie because like mm -hmm. Frankie, Jimbe could be a wrestler, but like Frankie is definitely like a wrestler. Yeah, so like I feel I always felt like Frankie was gonna go up against Burgess, but then again, ah. we need Frankie, we need Frankie for San Juan Wolf. Hold on, I forgot about Bert. So let's go through it. Okay, so the ten time ten captains. We got Shiryu Zoro, Van Auger Usa. Avaro, okay, let's skip Avaro Pizarro. Let's do the ones we know. Katarina Davon, Robin, Lafitte, Robin, Nami. One of them for one of them. Doc Q, Chopper. Do we, uh, I'm, I'm going to assume Vasco shot for Sanji due to the fact that of the you woman know, the thing. Women, the women yeah, comment. exactly. Now that leaves Azaro Pizarro and Jesus Burgess. Burgess, Burgess versus uh, um, Azaro Pizarro, Soul King, Brooke. So that leaves a San Juan Wolf in Jesus Burgess. San Juan Wolf, uh, San Juan Wolf Jimbe makes sense. Fishman, Fishman. But to your point, we need upgraded because we know that the the fucking Sonny's about to get the Vega Punk, uh, robot upgrade. So the Voltron, the Voltron, exactly. Voltron Sonny. <laughs> and if Voltron Sonny, that's got to be against San Juan Wolf. And to your point, Jimbe being the wrestler takes on Jesus Burgess. I'm cool with that. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with that. Like that sounds also, like good to there's me. a there's a ten Titanic captain, which means that we get another <laughs> crew member, right, to fight them, right? I, I assume imagine. so. I would. Assume I mean, so. maybe Yamato's in the story by that point, but who knows? You you know why? You know how I to feel about that. Bring bring my homie on board. Bring brother Yamato on board, my man. Because look. I genuinely... Or is it Momo? <laughs> oh my god. Nah, Momo, 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 Momo the is Momo the shogun. Buff, yeah, the no Momo, Momo buff would be crazy. <laughs> Momo is like... the shogun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm clowning. Momo, Momo is not coming with the straw hats. He is the shogun of Wano. But Yamato, whenever Momo's strong enough, they could pick him up. That's true. That's or true. if they need him for the fight, they pick him up. I mean, look. But the tenth, the whole, tenth to me is, is Aokiji, bro. Like the, the and, and Aokiji's gonna switch. It's gonna be nine v nine. Like we we know what time it is. Yeah, it should be. Cause Any, I, I, oh, go I ahead. Don't see, I don't see. I don't see how they can get Yamato back. I still feel like Yamato. Like they didn't put. They didn't put him on the crew because he was a little too strong. Mm, that I, I mean, he that's that's what I feel. Also, the fact that Momo couldn't protect himself. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like, look, he was pulling out Boro breasts, but like, 
it was weak borrow some, breaths. He needs, some, he needs some training, man. He needs that some man. Training. That man is a char, uh, a a Charmander in a in a Charizard body. That's facts. That's facts. That's facts. <laughs> but that's pretty much all the fights we got for today. Y'all, let us know if we missed any. We'll do a part two when we think of more, get more context. Jazz, mm-hmm. tell the people they can follow you at on social media. Follow me on Twitter, Real Jazzy Boy. Follow me on Instagram, Jazzy Boy. Follow me on TikTok, Cornell the God. Y'all make sure y'all go follow my brother Jazz. We got a lot of content out. I'm not going to list them all. Make sure you just subscribe to the YouTube. Subscribe to Bros Who Think Network, wherever you get podcasts, and you will find everything. Follow me at LinBWT. Follow the Bros Who Think at Bros Who Think on Twitter. That's where you get all the information. And it's LinBWT on, on TikTok as well. That's pretty much all we got for you for this video. Until next time. Peace.